This map will do. This map will do nicely. A little more than it needs, but. I like the thought that you're just immediately needy of something to like anchor you into this alternate world that you just made a pact immediately. <laughs> With a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge as you're coming up through the outer city you're you uh wilhelm are finally starting to see what could be a city i mean you're used to things a little more impressive than this um this outer city area is a slumish area before they come up to this first gate which uh even though you uh create a Cradio and Zeke aren't familiar with Baldur's Gate too much. You do know that the name of this gate coming up is Basilisk Gate. Um, and it's only it's only a copper to get through. It's just enough to stop those who don't have a copper from getting in to oh, the shit, lower city. Um, Baldur's Gate is very very much uh, upper upper and lower. High, high class and low class. There's no middle. Um, uh, and uh, it shows that also in like elevation. The lower area is uh, the lower city, and then there is an incline as you head up into the upper city. Now, as you're coming through the the Basilisk Gate, a lot of the people in the outer city are getting out of the way because there is a procession leaving the Basilisk Gate and heading off to the east. Um, it looks like a, a military leader or important figure is uh, in front, and then there's three on each side of him heading uh, straight out, and they're going at a decent trot. They're heading at a normal, at a good pace, um, as if they're in a hurry or at least on some kind of a schedule. When you get to Basilisk Gate, there are a couple of guards, um, and again, it's like a copper to get through. But all three of you have some finances. Okay. And if you don't give any trouble, you pay the copper. I'm not even going to go. I mean, I think you guys have, have like three or four gold each on your character sheets. Yeah. Two. Yeah. And I pay the we guard. Were, if we were watching gold closely, I think ten copper is a silver and ten silver is a gold. I'm not yeah. worried about it right now. Uh, Electrum's two silver, the random currency. It'll, it, it'll be a short matter of time before copper doesn't matter. So, <laughs> like... Um, however, I don't think you guys can afford. Do they look to get at Wilhelm's the gold really confused? <laughs> <laughs> like, who's this face on this coin? <laughs> and then you start to get the feel. Then you start to get the feel for Baldur's Gate. The next, um, just under a week, is learning how Baldur's Gate works in this lower city area. This, uh. But the Shantian River is home of all the all the boats and, do and things that come into the docks. And some businesses have their own little dock area where they go every day. Others periodically have ships that come and go. And what happens is, uh, very early in the morning, the ships arrive. Most people work around this area. I'm using maybe using the wrong color. as the uh, main merchants move things up into the upper city, which is which is called the Wide, which is right up here. This ends up being a huge marketplace at the beginning of the day, and by the end of the day, everyone has to get out of the upper city and then either head back to their boats or sail off and come back with uh, more supplies. And that's how Baldur's Gate moves and operates. Things uh, that are heading inland from... Let me see if I get the Sword Coast map back up. I can just explain it. Uh, things that are going from the main Sword Coast and heading inland to the other cities uh, the beyond hell? Baldur's Gate will also have to stop by these ports. So this is where the this is a main hub. Uh, it also has well, it's not the best governed place. If you're in the upper city, there's a police force called the City Watch that uh, takes care of really does take good care of the patriarchs, the people that run. Okay, Mike, now I'm looking at you. That's my mistake right there. <laughs> All right, did I distract you? <laughs> no, I'm good. I, I'm good. I wasn't ready for it, but now I am. I'm good now. I'm good now. So I was just wanted to type that. I'm like, Chris is monologuing. Let's let that maintain. A little bit of a, she's, he's showing his celestial pride. Um, 
<laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> it's fine. There's a uh, so the patriarchs run the run Baldur's Gate and they live up in the upper city where they have uh, a more structured police force. In the lower city, um, the Flaming Fist run things and they're more of a mercenary guild really and you guys have only been here a week and you've kind of figured that out the uh flaming fists aren't exactly like trained or even trying to differentiate uh what isn't is not a crime they're just here to scare everybody into being straight and not being a problem uh it, this is a place of opportunity though you can get on your feet and get into the world from here um some people, when they start an adventuring career, they head off into a dungeon or they do whatever, or do something else. But this is what you were able to do. Baldur's Gate was nearby. This is what you guys went for. Now, there's a number of reasons that you guys have been pulled in this direction as well. Zeke, we talked about it. You have some kind of a voice that pointed you in this way. I don't think we're cleared it completely, but there's definitely something, some kind of an evil, some kind of a problem in Baldur's Gate that you're that this is hoping you will look into. Um. You're just mighty evil. Wilhelm, <laughs> during the last week, you have, have used your divine sense at least once or twice. And even though you didn't sense any celestial fiend undead, you can sense a corruption in Baldur's Gate that needs to be addressed. Yeah, and I'm somewhat desperate to prove myself. The so. Sounds like going with the flaming. The average person here kind of... The average person here kind of keeps their mouth shut when it comes to repression and those things, but you're not going. You're not one of them. You're obviously not the average person around here. Um, in addition, this uh, this corruption does feel like it might be the whole city, but there are a few spots that are really getting your attention, and they seem to be in the upper city, which you haven't gained access to yet. Uh, but Cradio you kind of fit in in a couple places. There are other drows that are kind of keeping quiet or keeping out of the way. Uh, Drow aren't a big fan of sunlight, so the the darker alleys and stuff during the highest parts of the day are where they'll be or where you'll find some of them. And uh, you're a little more comfortable in the shady parts of Baldur's Gate as well when the sun is up high and luckily there's a cloud in the sky and there's a dark alley with some shade because you don't really like direct sunlight. That is one of the disadvantages of disadvantages of playing a drow. But you do have the sage background. So you are familiar with a couple places that you're able to study. They're, they're, they're not, not libraries, but a couple places where you can get into and maybe see the paper for the day. Yeah. Um, stuff like that. There, you, you, have, you have a way with those connections. Uh, Sean, what kind of background did you have? I missed it. Oh, never mind. You, yeah, hermit. Yeah, you're a little out of pro this city. Is, this is you reattaching with civilization for the first time in a while. And last time I was in like civilization was not exactly a cool time. And Wilhelm, you're definitely not impressed with the flaming fist, and even <laughs> though you've heard about the. I think they're called the Watch. I keep trying to check. These are definitely a lower class yeah. soldiery. There there could be something of import in the upper city, but you haven't gained access to it yet. But I definitely feel a corruption in the upper city. Yeah. This is why I like to stay in the woods. Avoiding this weird bureaucracy manipulation field. But there was a reason you had to be in Baldur's Gate, and that becomes apparent uh, today. What happens is you see an influx of people coming through the Basilisk Gate in the last 48 hours, um, especially, um, I would say more in the last 24 hours than the, than the two days. Uh, and it, you can't tell exactly where they're coming from, but a lot of people are talking about El Turl. Now, El Turl is a city that is to the east, and I'm going to bring up the... Sword Coast map for that, or at least the Baldur's Gate version of the sword. Just just enough so that we can focus on this area here. So you guys spent the opening scene in Cloakwood, and we touched base on Candlekeep, but we haven't gotten to that yet. 
you're currently in Baldur's Gate, and as you travel down the Shanthian River, you'll see Fort uh, Morning Lord and El Turl over here. That is oh. and that that is a good travel away. Fort Morning question? Lord, I probably would have been from over there. <laughs> you know that part of your uh, backstory that you tried to leave behind? <laughs> yep. Phrasing. Yeah. Way back deep <laughs> you're, 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 you're familiar with Lathander and Vort Morning Lord, yes. But you're also familiar with El Turl. Um, how much cardio is familiar with El Turl, I don't know. That's kind of up to you, Mike. Uh, as for Wilhelm, you not a clue. You have no idea what's going on. Oh shit! Cradio oh, does yeah. cardio. Okay, you are a monk. <laughs> <laughs> El Turl is the closest city to Baldur's Gate, and it is where knights, paladins, shining in armor spend their time. Um, about fifty years ago, there was a vampire lord who was trying to take over El Turl, uh, but then something appeared over it. A large celestial object appeared over El Turl that operated at like a second sun and it stayed up all the time. It's called the Companion and what it did was it spread sunlight all throughout the city all the time. So even as the normal sun went up and down El Turl was bathed in sunlight 24-7. When that happened the vampires of course didn't have a chance and <laughs> uh, for the next 50 years after that up until Today, El Turl was the shining light of this area. Um, where Baldur's Gate was more Gotham City, um, when it comes to corruption and in in, in government or in or in a mer, mercen, sorry mercantile, uh, El Turl was sta was standing on its own when it came to justice, righteousness, etc. But something's happened. The people that are at the uh, Basilisk Gate are mentioning that El Turl is gone. Gone. The entire city. It's not there. Uh, what? Not taken over. Gone. Gone. Temple gone. 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 And what we at had... Will. Still there? We what just we stare at Wilhelm the... like, dude. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it me. Is, it is very possible that this tell ties into the same energies that brought you from Ravnica. Oh, it's shit. Not, not that you did it, but <laughs> it's very possible. You, you, ju you jump universes, things happen. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the, the story is that the companion changed from the sunlight that it was to like a darkish color and then there was just a those of them that witnessed it many people just tried to head home and there was no home to head to so what Baldur's Gate is now being in flux with is refugees from El Turl and there's just too many it's to the point where now they've now closed the gates um those that did make it in are being hunted so they can be kicked back out and the Flaming oh, Fist has their hands full with this whole in refugees coming from El Turl with the same story yeah. El Turl's just gone wiped off the map that makes me not want to think to join the Flaming Fist because that sounds like ugly business unfortunately <laughs> a couple members of the Flaming Fist ones that you've communicated with in the last week or so have just noticed that you're nearby you're about a block away from the Basilisk Gate and they move over towards you guys um, do you have one of you step? I think maybe Wilhelm might have stepped up as the leader of the pact at this point. <laughs> I, I <laughs> <don't know. laughs> it's possible. Uh, I think Cradio can be main character. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> at least he knows the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I know I definitely don't like the uh, the militia they have in this town. I no, don't like don't. how they're treating refugees. That goes against no. uh, the paladin. Yeah, that's a fucked up thing to do. Hunting people she can shelter. Uh, that's fucked up. So I definitely would look and react to the Flaming Fist with disdain. 
Uh, make an they're insight in check there. as you at this at this moment. Make an insight check to see how their day is going. Inside. Could I give him a judgmental <sighs> advantage? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, you can take advantage on the roll, which means you can roll again and take the higher result, even though 16 is a great roll. That was investigation, or which one? Oh, insight. Sorry. Natural 20. Uh, okay, 15. <laughs> Yesterday, the Flaming Fist was arresting anybody from El Toro and throwing them back out of the city. Today, they've completely locked the gates down. So some of the people that live in Baldur's Gate who either come, come and go for business reasons or actually aren't from Baldur's Gate and they were just visiting are now locked in. So there's a there's a people that want to get out that can't leave and there's people that want to get in that can't get in. Uh, the Flaming Fist is definitely losing control of the situation. Um, in addition to that, Sean, would you make a perception check, please? Uh, shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. As you look down, you do it, it, like like you guys are turning the corner, and a lot of information's coming at you at once, mainly because I'm spelling it all out at this moment. But this is kind of like, like you woke up, you maybe had got something, some a little bit of coffee in you, you turn around, and then there's just all this. Um, Zeke, when you look down, you see a body. Ah. He's dead. He's dead. Refugee? I don't know. That's a five. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to investigate the situation a little further? Thir you didn't have notice sword on right away. <laughs> um. And Cradio, you can give me an investigation or perception check also. Okay. Can I help him look over the body I just stepped on? <laughs> <laughs> You're still working wow. on your... Yo, whoa, okay. Okay, Ooh. so this party is not good at investigating stuff. He has a plus four. <laughs> a plus four. He just happened to roll a three. <laughs> Um, so this whole scene is kind of hitting you guys all at once, but it looks like the peep, the person that was killed, his body is here, who's no one's bothered to pick up. It doesn't look like this was a normal bar fight. This looks like, the, it looks like this guy was just beaten by multiple people. And as you look up, you see a couple members of the Flaming Fist punching out another guy about a block up. And then one of, and then two of the members of the Flaming Fist are starting to walk in your direction. Is there any like big, or, like trees around or open field? No. Expected. You are. Where's I'm the... in D and D Gotham, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're in D, you're in D and D Gotham, yes. I was thinking, like my initial pull was like try to find a place to just bury this body. You are. Let's see if I can share it for you. I'm you like... are here. Like say a prayer, but uh, that doesn't seem you see to be this, a thing. You, you see this here uh, little pin I just added to the map? If yeah. I accidentally yeah. close maps, how do I open them up again? Uh, you, have, you can go find it by its name, or I'll just share it again. Thanks. So. You're, you're like a block away from the vault, from the from the basilisk gate. Which is literally when you're closed. seeing this play out. Your like your favorite coffee shops right around here. That's all. So I see the guards coming up. I would like to try to look as imposing as I can to try to protect Zeke while he... One of, the th one of the things you've noticed about the Flaming Fist is their emblem is strangely like the Boris emblem. It's not exact, thank goodness, because they're nowhere near as cool. Um, <laughs> they're just fist-related. Yeah, it just happens to include a fist. I assume on your armor there's already a fist. And uh, the two of the two of them stop as the one approach uh, begins to talk to you, Wilhelm, um, and he says, "The captain wants to talk to you three. We were hoping to bump into you." And then he elbows Why? a guy behind him that had nothing to do with this conversation. Why does the captain want to talk to us? He's got a job for you guys. Let's go. We're not attacking random innocent people like you've been. 
At that point, they turned and began to walk, um, and you were expected to follow, but you're welcome to resist. I don't like them at all. Nope, you don't. I tell them, I'm not going anywhere with you. Not until we honor this dead. Which one? I'm with Wilhelm. I point at the corpse that Zeke stepped on. Hey, what? And two of the flaming fists come over and pick up the body. Oh, that was convenient. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need Please to start. bury him. Is there like a plague pit? Where are they going? <laughs> we'll bury him. And they're walking him towards the Basilisk Gate, which is where Captain Zaj, Zaj is, but he's not like waiting for you patiently. He's doing something else. So I guess I follow them to make sure that they don't desecrate the body. Okay. What do the other two do? I follow as well. Yeah. If anything, asking, what do you want with us specifically? Why us? <laughs> Why do they keep yawning? You know, you gotta work tomorrow. Like a sneeze. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Zaj stops what he's doing, and he's got he's got a, a handkerchief, and he's wiping off his bloody fist as he turns to talk to you guys. There, there's a pile of something on the ground. It's still alive, but it's on the ground. Is everybody and then... just in the middle of punching somebody? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like three um, scenes of it. <laughs> And then the uh, the two guys with the with the corpse head for ba head for Basilisk Gate. The uh, another another one of the flaming fists grab the guy that's on the ground and put him over his shoulder, but he's not really being gentle with him, and he's dragging him off to the Basilisk Gate as well. And uh, I shared the picture of Zaj, right? So Zaj and a couple other members of the flaming fist turn, and that's when Zaj looks to you guys and goes. This refugee, this refugee's crisis is stoked. Fear in Baldur's Gate might suffer the same fate as old Terrell. There's nothing remains but a hole in the ground of that place. And our Grand Duke, Alder Ravenguard, was visiting El Terrell on a diplomatic mission when the city disappeared. Coincidence? Yes. You guys will keep in mind that uh, there was a procession, uh, a leader of some kind and six others left, headed towards the east uh, when you guys arrived in Baldur's Gate about a week ago. Oh, that Alterella thing happened, like, now. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> the Knights of Altergard call themselves Hell Riders, and a few of them have escaped the destruction and think we're somehow to blame for El Turl's downfall. What a bunch of self-righteous rabble risers. We're arresting them all on sight. But that's left us shorthanded to deal with another problem. And for that, I need your help. You guys have dealt with the Flaming Fist in the last week or so. You haven't made a lot of friends, but at least you're accepted as opposed to all these people that are trying to rush the gate. Safe to say, bar fights have ensued that they lost. <laughs> we can help you, but not for free. And with what specifically? I knew I liked you guys. Yeah. Baldur's Gate has been long played by followers of the Dead Three, the gods Bane, Baal, and Merkel. That's right, Merkel. And at this point, he starts to hand out these. He starts to hand you each one. Why do I want this? Because you're a deputy. I'm not going to have to beat up innocents, am I? Innocents, no. We'll take care of the innocents. The Alturals, Alturians, <laughs> whatever. Uh... <clears throat> I now, I thought we had wiped three? out these dead three, but apparently we haven't. And they're starting to spread fear and death. And he looks over at where that one body was. 
They're taking advantage of this crisis situation to commit murder. There are murder sprees throughout the city. Now, as my appointed deputies in this matter, you'll have license to kill these wretches on sight. Find their lair, wipe them out. Eliminate anyone who gets in your way, and don't worry about collateral damage. Is this like if a you... pin or something? How do I... Yeah, it's a badge. Yeah, I just look at the ground like, ah, oh, fuck. You put it on? Yeah. Awesome. If you do what I say, I'll see to it that each of you receive a hundred gold pieces in addition to my gratitude, which is worth considerably more. Should I now, roll you... on knowing what the hell the dead three are? Sure. You can make a religion check. I've got, like, Shantae and Lathander in my back, and hope I probably failed. Wow. <laughs> oh, it changed the color of your die, sir. <laughs> um, he said something about murder? That kind of fits? That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Maybe there's a god of murder? I don't know. I mean, I know, but I can't help you. Murder. Merkel. Hmm. Can I do, like, an insight check or something to see if this is the same corruption that I'm feeling? You sure can. You have advantage on this roll, because you know a unicorn. <laughs> God you suddenly right. smell strawberries. <laughs> strawberries, huh? We're going to go with strawberries? Okay, that's then. That's what we're going to do. Your, unicorn. <laughs> you're convinced that this corruption is connected to this, even though it's not apparent to you how or why. But this is th this will this will get you on that road. Then I agree I mean, and ask the captain, where do you think we should start? Uh, a few blocks from here is Elf Song Tavern. I have a I have a friend, Tarina. She hangs out there. She gathers rumors for the guild. Um, cardio. The guild is a quick way of mentioning the thieves' guild in Baldur's Gate, which is something that has already approached you a couple times. It's a very racial thing, <laughs> simply because you're a drow. Did you have a couple people trying to nudge you? Um, <clears throat> just. Realizing quickly that you yourself are not from from the rogue class or a thief, they didn't like give you too much, but they're still keeping an eye on you because eventually a drow might need some backup from them. So you're familiar with the fact that the guild is the thieves' guild in Baldur's Gate, and apparently this uh, this Tyrena works for them or gathers rumors for them. Um, and he says she owes me a favor, so tell her that you sent Captain Dodge sent you. Uh, ask her what she knows about the Dead Three. And for the love of Baldarians, be nice. Trina, she's got dangerous friends. Now, he's saying dangerous, and here he is being dangerous, so you can imagine. Bing! You have a video game quest. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Baldur's Gate is a video game. It was a... <laughs> in case, in yeah. case you guys don't know what Baldur's <laughs> like, Gate is, like it was... There's like three or four, yeah, Baldur's Gate video games out there. So every once in a while, I'm going to sound like a video game when I run this part of the game. So I assume as we um, go to leave, I just kind of begrudgingly like hand on his shoulder. I'd, yeah, this is this is kind of the thing that made me leave the city. But I suppose leaving problems doesn't solve problems. Sorry for the shit you have to deal with. I would like to intimidate Captain Zaj real quick. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being nice. And I say, hey, this quest says we were supposed to receive 200 gold pieces. You only said 100. Does it? <laughs> I think you're lying to me, Mike. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Read the quest. I don't see a number. Yeah, I don't either. If you do what I say, I'll see that each of you receive 200 gold pieces in addition oh, to my gratitude. Oh, it's it's not the number. God damn it. <laughs> Why do you have to write the words out? <laughs> <laughs> a 
That's just I'll blame a typo, your unicorn for you're that. Welcome to, you're, you're welcome to run it. That's just a typo, but you're welcome to run it. Look at that. <laughs> wow. I wonder, is that accurate? actually there? Like, he said 100 in one spot and 200 in the other? Screw you, Fantasy Grounds. <laughs> <laughs> Your new yeah. unicorn senses were tingling. Here's the. That's what I was reading from. It's not gonna. And that one's showing the 100. No, it says 200. Yeah, it's 200. I read it wrong, and that's not a bad intimidation roll. Can I intimidate uh, so the you, DM? So when you do, no, you, you, you corrected me. It's my fault. So. When you when you yell when you yell that he he was already walking away and he goes yeah yeah two hundred whatever <laughs> he's walking all right fine <laughs> I just look at Cradio ah oh, shit he's good for talking we got that right <laughs> yeah that's like, plus five to charisma I'm not even gonna roll against, <laughs> that. against that that's completely my fault um and you guys have your flaming fist badges which is kind of giving you uh I don't know if you want to abuse that power or not. <laughs> Does and, it clash uh, with my outfit? That's a few. <laughs> you have two different I, fist actually, decals. <laughs> you, su- you surprisingly match the flaming fist. I mean, the colors right. are identical. You already kind of <laughs> looked it. <laughs> All right, boys. Think we should head to this tavern? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should. I'm curious what this dead three is. All right. We make our way to the Elf Song Tavern then. We got to talk to what's her face? Irina, I think. Tavrina. Oh. Yeah, we've got uh Oh, Tavrina. Trina. They actually spell it alphabetically. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's me. That, oh, that's, that's you. Me giving... Yeah. <laughs> I know in the beginning of like water deep. I do that. I, 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 I do that to myself. Like I'll go find a pronunciation and then I'll sneak a pronunciation in there. I didn't. I usually don't share the block text. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, like when he says for the love of Baldarian, is that like a person or is that like what people are called here? It's actually both. There was there was a man named Baldurn. And Baldarian is the type of person like Buffalonian. Safe to say I'm not going Norse with that. <laughs> yeah. I am so, so was your e cig also Dr. Pepper flavored? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? No. Uh. So I've seen uh, Dr. Pepper lip balm, so I wouldn't be surprised. Fruit smoothie. I do have a Dr. Pepper shampoo, though, but I haven't used it yet. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You sure your last name isn't Pepper and not instead of Bismarck? <laughs> Wilhelm Pepper. <laughs> nah, it's the middle name. Huh. Just pepper it in there. There we go. That's what I needed. Oh, patrons. I would like to roll initiative. Wow, we just looked ah. <laughs> Come in and start murdering everybody. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Who's that schooner, dude? <laughs> Is that the dude. bouncer? <laughs> that is the bouncer. I don't think it's a dude. <laughs> so do we that just walk a, on in and see some That is a half ogre like... bouncer. That's exactly what that is. Half ogre. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's the other half? <laughs> Hi. 
Welcome to the Elsung Tavern. Thank Don't you. make me throw you out. Have fun. Here. <laughs> We're here on Flaming Sword business. Can you tell us if Tarina is in? Fist. Dude with the fist on his chest. Fist. <laughs> make a persuasion check. You got it. Uh, Ooh, he rolled high. I didn't. <laughs> Trina. <laughs> she's she's a secret, so I can't tell you. You what? You just did. <laughs> no, I didn't. Dumb half work. <laughs> Ah, you totally just did. I said she's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that? Whatever. It'd be it'd be a dirty zero, actually. <laughs> Your rolls today. <laughs> she's a, a secret. Zero. Of one, so I can't tell you if she's here or not. Fair enough. Keep your secrets. Huh? Okay. And head inside. No problem. Yep. Plenty of oh. patrons. I go up to the bar. Did we get a description of the lady or just that it's a lady named Tr Tr Trina? Tr so whatever. We got Lady and Trina. Yep. Uh, okay. I said, good evening, barkeep. Flag in the veil, please. Okay. I'm oh. just looking around. Oh. Um, yeah, sure. And he puts three uh, L's on the counter. There, there, there you go. Th th thanks, thanks for uh, thanks for keeping an eye on the place, guys. He doesn't charge you. Well, thank you. Oh, and don't mention it. Now, why do you look so shifty? I was already grabbing insight, but hey. <laughs> wow, Sean, do you want to take a break, maybe? Change the dice? <laughs> hey, if I roll some more, chances are something will pass 10. Uh, yeah, mathematically, you should start rolling better just on chance. <laughs> some people never do, but yeah, you're not one of them. What is Anybody your name, else? sir? Alan. Alan. I, Alan East. I run Elfsung Tavern. Well, tell me, Alan, is Tarina in? Yeah. She's here. Where is she? We'd like to talk to her. She's, she's upstairs. Sir? Wait, did we walk by an armor? Wow, yes, you did. There's over here. It's like she stops in the middle of the conversation. Is that a suit of armor? Looking at me? Name is Clank. <laughs> <laughs> you say she's upstairs, huh? Which way is the stairs? Oh, you don't have to ask. The stairs are over here. Thank you. I quickly chug the ale, place it back on the counter, start making my way towards the stairs. This, oh, uh, closely behind. This patron here says something under his breath as you guys walk past. Perception. Well, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Got something to say, and I intimidate him. You can roll intimidation. You have advantage. No. Oh. Good thing too. <laughs> you have advantage. You can roll again. Oh, Your DC is a thirteen. And Tim up patient. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> Speak up. Yeah. What? Uh, what? Whatever. Whatever you want. What? what uh, it, you said something as we're passing. What did you say? Well, I was I was talking to her, and he points to the girl at the uh, 
in in the chair over uh, over yonder. She's not even looking in this direction. Tried to mumble to a chick thirty feet away from him. <laughs> I just put like kind of my hand on her shoulder, like, dude, take it from a guy who's on a weird pilgrimage trying to get laid. Just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's easier just to ask. Granted, I don't take my own advice. I nod and agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thought you were talking to us, but I guess I was mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boop, 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 boop. Up the stairs. Like, as they go up the stairs, I'll try to hang at, like, the bottom of the stairs. Okay. The yeah, I'll bounce her life with my buff self. And you end up over here. Wait, I said, where'd you go? Come, you're over here. Get over. Oh, do you get... Yeah. You really, really... Having an issue with tokens? <laughs> yeah, right? Just... All right, fine. Although, on that note, I do see the green dot Oof. of health now. Yeah. And that everybody's like third party yellow. <laughs> um, Mike, do you head upstairs? I do as well, yes. Okay. I was about to say, if you're hanging back doing bouncer stuff, I'll go up. <laughs> At the table over here, there is a dice game going on. Uh, there's a shady individual over here. The rest of these doors are shut. All right, I come to the middle of the room, and I announce, has anybody seen Tarina? Yeah, uh, throw another one of those intimidation checks with advantage? Mm -hmm. Or did you want to use a different skill? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody at the table kind of goes quiet for a minute. And then Blondie here points to the woman at the front of the table. The one with the fancy headgear? Yeah. Ah, Tarina. Been looking for you. Loudly, apparently. <laughs> Sorry, stealth is really not my strong suit. You don't say. We're here on behalf of uh, Flaming Fist people. I can see that. Your badge is showing. That's right, it is. <laughs> We're told that you might have some information about the whereabouts of the people causing the murders in town. Hmm. Why would I help? That is what the captain told us. Captain. Which one? Crap, what was his name? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> his name is Zodge. Zodge! Captain Zodge. He said that uh, you had some information about the followers of the three gods, Bane, Ball, and Merkel. These three he's, are not like the other. He's not wrong. I'm surprised he found out so quickly. What do you I know be, about them? I'd be tempted to help, but first I'm going to need your help. With what? Just then. Uh, hey, Zeke. I thought it's I had a, little... a moment to type. Oh, go you can finish. You can finish typing. That's fine. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Uh, little by little, one by one, individuals start to walk into the room. Each one of them seems to be a skellywag, 
and it doesn't take long for them to fill the bar. Like one of them formation style, or are they just no? Like they the... they pour they pour in all chaotic. <laughs> oh, whoa. oh. I see the one dude. Or... Bro, whoa, whoa. I wasn't then... sure if they're about to ask for money or just get drunk. <laughs> This guy heads to the center in the, in the room and goes, Tanina, I know you're here. Get down here and pay for me what you owe me. And I'm that, assuming this is what you want to help with. <laughs> and that is where we're going to call it for today. A uh, bar fight. <laughs> As the pirates swarm in, apparently looking for Trina. Okay. Uh... So yeah, I'm cutting it a little early today, but we've we covered a lot of ground, <laughs> and I like where we're headed. I like where we're headed. We're we're in a good spot. And you're strangely <laughs> sleepy. I'm not sleepy. That is th that is going to take longer than we have. <laughs> I don't want to rush through <laughs> that. I want to enjoy that. So. Uh, okay. So what do you think, Mike? It's pretty good. I left when I got on a fucking cliffhanger here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you had enjoyed the intro.